What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Amy, David Mitchell's cowboy boot seller, Joe Lissette's model, or Nish Kumar's sleepy mate. What I lie to you, I'm excited to jump into this. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Uh, if you got a favorite video suggestion, drop it in the comment section. Oh my God! Please welcome this week's special guest, Amy. <laughs> so, Joe, what is Amy to you? This is my friend Amy and I grossly offended her when I made a less than perfect sculpture of her head. <laughs> Nish, how do you know Amy? Mm. Uh, this is my friend Amy. We became friends after I found her asleep in a box of volleyballs. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, David, what is your relationship with Amy? This is Amy. She is the charity shop worker who sold my shoes whilst <laughs> I was otherwise engaged trying on a pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, where do you want to start? Just off their initial, what they're saying. I'm going to say David. J that's just initially, I'm going to say boots. David. <laughs> Lee, where David do you want to start? The truth. Nish, well, remind us again, Nish. Uh, she, I found her in a box oh, of yes. volleyballs. First of all, where were you where there was a box of volleyballs? <laughs> <laughs> I was working at a leisure centre uh, just after I left school. Um, right. And Amy was also working there over the summer between school and uni. Right. And um, mm. they sent me to check on the volleyballs. Oh, and... well, just, just check on the volleyballs. <laughs> 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 Make sure the volleyballs aren't missing around. <laughs> <laughs> Has your manager recently been watching Toy Story? <laughs> <laughs> I believe the technical term was conduct inventory. So I was right. just okay. you're you're supposed to, to count sure. them. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to count them. Uh, and it turned out that what she was doing was because no one really wanted to play volleyball. She'd found the perfect spot to have a mid-work sleep in. How big was this box? It was like woman could she, size. Could she stretch woman oh, size? Woman size. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of it. How big was this box? Women, woman size. Nah, niche. Nah, we're not buying it. It was more. like. Woman she, size. Could she stretch? Woman, oh, woman size. size. Yeah. You've, heard of a, you've heard of a volleyball coffin. So you opened it up and you saw a sleeping woman amongst all these volleyballs. How many were there? I'm like, I think probably like thirty-five. You see, you've just said to me that this box was woman sized <laughs> Now, the largest woman I've ever seen is still smaller than thirty-five volleyballs. <laughs> but they will use this as a chat-up line. <laughs> Says, oh, I feel a bit fat in this. I'll always go, don't be silly, you're less than 35 <laughs> volleyballs for me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wake her up? Yes. And so we became friends because then I would also often have a nap. In, in the volleyballs? In the volleyballs. What was her job supposed... What was she supposed to be doing at the time? We, we, Perhaps we were... she was sent to count the volleyballs <laughs> earlier. <laughs> become bored by the, of the process. The boss kept... I keep sending people to count the volleyballs and they never come back to them. <laughs> Working at the leisure centre, Nish, what else did your job demand of you? Basically, all round dog's body, so I would work on the front desk sometimes. I think you said all round ball games. <laughs> <laughs> so everything except rugby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bowls, David. What? They're not totally spherical in bowls. That's Are why they, they not? That's why they, <laughs> yeah. that's why they curve. I would say colloquially they're still round, though. Oh, hello. It's all kicking off at Bridge Club. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Who else would you like to quiz? OK, Joe, what situation were you in where you were sculpting her head? Uh, we, I, I have an office in uh, Birmingham where I live. That'll do. <laughs> so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe uh, Joe. I believe it's got to be David. I haven't heard his story yet, though, but I don't know. I believe it's, it's got to be David. Uh, Birmingham, where I live. That'll do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I totally believe. I mean, that, that makes it. You can answer any question you like. I don't mind. Do you have an office in Birmingham? Yeah. But right. why? Um, why? Just uh, to write jokes and be creative in. So, you went to this office 
to write jokes yeah. and said to your friend, would you like to come along, sit in the corner and I'll sculpt your head? I've been looking for a use for all that clay I keep in my office. Richie <laughs> 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 video. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so, did you know how to do this? No, but yeah, I, I thought practice makes perfect, so I called Amy and... Um, how long did you spend doing it? Maybe an hour or so. Weren't you tempted to just make it really soft, get her face, <laughs> push it into it? <laughs> and do the back of her head, and then go, well, at least I've got a mould. <laughs> You said she was offended by this sculpture. Yes, she so was offended. What, what did you end up with? Um, <laughs> uh, it didn't look like her. What did it look like? Um, it looked more like Ainsley Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Bell. Okay. Now, what about David? I'm looking forward to this. What was it you claimed, David? I'm that, thinking... that Amy is the charity shop worker. That's right. Oh, yes. Who yes. sold my shoes yes. whilst I was otherwise engaged trying on a pair of cowboy boots. Can you talk yes. to the into them? This, this is the truth. This one, it has to be. Has yeah. Whilst I was otherwise engaged trying on a pair of cowboy boots. Can you talk us through the incident, please? Um, well, I was in the charity Which shop. Which charity shop? It was uh, a Marie Curie charity shop near what... where I live. OK. So I'm setting the scene before this. You're, you're at home, you're thinking, it's about time I got myself some cowboy boots. <laughs> I need to commit to a new pair in case I go off the idea. <laughs> Just on the very slightest off chance, yeah. it don't turn out to suit me yeah. and my personality. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy boots, I'll be honest with you, don't particularly appeal to me aesthetically. Wow. That's I don't think me. they go with what I like to call my style. Oh. Well, how would you describe that style, David? I, I don't... I think my style is indescribable. Oh, no, I could describe it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's best left undescribed. OK. Uh, I wasn't sitting at home plotting the purchase of some cowboy boots. No. I was pottering around near my house, and I saw the Marie Curie shop, and I saw in the window what looked like a, a nice selection of second-hand novels. Right. Mm. And I, I went in, and it wasn't a nice selection of second-hand novels. It was all Ken Follett crap. <laughs> Uh, but I did notice the, the, the array of shoes, and I mm. tend to take my shoes off at home and maybe wear slippers or socks. I don't want this to get too sexy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> so what I vaguely was on the lookout for was a pair of everyday, easy-to-put-on, non-lacing shoes that I could keep by okay. the back door in case I needed to pop into the garden for some garden. <laughs> but you said you'd taken some of your shoes <clears throat> to the charity shop. I was... W I was wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Take them off in the shop and hand Sorry, them to her. When, when, you, when you go shoe shopping, do you go barefoot? <laughs> I love this. I love this little argument going on. I love this little argument. Keep it going. When I'm I sorry. take shoes, me waiting. When I, <laughs> when I take shoes to the Sue Rider shop, yeah. I choose shoes that I no longer want. I don't wander around and then go, well, do you know what? You can have these if you want. <laughs> Why would you do that? You take them ready to give. I wasn't. It was my plan. Can I just say, Rob, <laughs> you're the only person in the whole of the United Kingdom watching this that isn't following this story. <laughs> <laughs> he said he took off his shoes. Why did you think he took the shoes off? To try the other ones. try the cowboy shoes on. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, David. Uh, David, I, I owe you. Come on, Rob. <laughs> Rob, you gotta do better, Rob. Rob, you, you gotta do better. Well, David, uh, David, I, I owe you an apology. <laughs> there you are in the shop. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the shop and I spot these cowboy boots and to me, they look sort of quite loose and easy to slip mm. on. What length? Um, Not well, width, I, length. I'd say <laughs> that long. About that, so they're coming yeah. up to just below the knee. They're not, they're not, you know. <laughs> How tall aren't... are you, Rob? They're not below. <laughs> <laughs> For me, they'd be silent. Can't see over these. <laughs> 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 I was 
would say they're for a cowboy. They're sh shortish, but leather not, or suede. But they're not ankle boots. Leather so or suede. Leather, and with a sort of bit of. Um, Jeez, I don't know the technical shoe terms, but sort of a, like a bit of uh, crenellation sort of flapping on them. <laughs> um, mm. I'm just going to have to use the terminology of the medieval castle. It's the only way I can <laughs> describe it. Anyway, they look so like... So you saw them? You saw them? Yeah, I saw them. OK. So I thought, uh, you know, I'll try them on. Yeah. But they were slightly harder to get on than wow. I imagined. People in mm. the shop, I imagine, were going, why is David Mitchell trying on cowboy boots? <laughs> the shop wasn't as packed as you're imagining. <laughs> to be the only customer there. <laughs> right. I was soon disabused of that notion. <laughs> <laughs> when did you notice that your <clears throat> own shoes had been sold? I think, well, I, w I w remember I walked to the back of the shop mm. in the cowboy boots, restraining an urge to walk like John Wayne. <laughs> and when I came back towards the shoe area, I noticed that my shoes weren't there. And did you see mm. who bought them? I didn't, no. I'm picturing a scene where you walk out the shop and you walk home, and then a few minutes later, a cowboy goes up to the counter and says, Excuse me, um, I... <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying on a pair of, and then behind him a clown <laughs> and a sailor. <laughs> and this just goes on all day, yeah. round and round. Yeah. David, David, yeah. I, I don't know you, I've just got to know you today, and I admire you very much. But what I know of you from watching you on TV, the cowboy boots, it's just, I, I can't buy it. I can't imagine you'd mm. even try them on. Well, in which case, th then you should say that I'm lying. <laughs> 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 so, we need an answer. I think David's the one telling the truth, though. It's, it's got to be David. Just by, I don't know, the way the woman looks, I feel like she matches David's story. She doesn't look like the type that would get upset if Jola said, got her face wrong. She just, just looking at her, she doesn't look like that. I don't think she's the type of woman that sleeps in lollipops. I can't see it. I can't. But we're about to find out. <laughs> so, we need an answer. Uh, Lee's team is Amy, Joe's miffed model, <laughs> Nish's sleepy sidekick, <laughs> or David's sneaky shoe seller? I'm more inclined to believe Nish myself. You believe Nish? Yeah. Because? Because. I don't know, I just think Amy and Nish look like they could be really good mates. Miles, you think? Well, I was looking at her very closely while Joe was talking about Scotland. She looked quite icy about the whole thing. Wow. <laughs> she looked very offended in the story. Yeah. But during I mean, David's it? story, she looked, I mean, understandably baffled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it might be Joe, actually. What do you uh, think? Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm beginning to think. I mean, it doesn't even matter what I think. I mean, your own, <laughs> your, I mean, my job really is to agree with you, Lee. I mean, you are a man. Are we trying to reenact Dad's army? <laughs> 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 Do you think that's why, sir? Um, I think, uh... David, man, go David. Uh, I think Nish is telling the truth. You think Nish is telling yeah. the truth? You think Nish is telling the yeah. truth? No. Right, in that case, I'll go with what my team say. <laughs> You're saying it's Nish? No, I'm overruling! <laughs> I'm going with Joe. <laughs> Are you seriously? I feel it's Joe. All right. Amy, <laughs> would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Amy and I'm Joe's friend. Oh! <laughs> Amy, you got me, Amy. You got me. It's okay. It was there were good stories. But you got me, Amy. It's okay. Hey, you win some, you lose some, but you live, you live to guess again. You live. <laughs> this is the sculpture <laughs> that Joe Lyle. <laughs> oh, good luck. <laughs> This is the sculpture. <laughs> Get ready for this. You will never <laughs> in your lifetime witness a worse sculpture than this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> my god! 
poor, poor woman. <laughs> yes, Amy is Joe's miffed model. Thank you very much, Amy. Uh, okay. Amy, I don't blame you. I would have been upset too, Amy. That that sculpture was <laughs> was terrible. That it makes me think there's no way that he was looking at your face and sculpting that. It's not possible that he was looking at you and sculpting what he was sculpting. He he had to be thinking of something in the back of his head. I don't know. But that's just no way. Uh Another one wrong. Shoot, I really wanted that one. But that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or, or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Read notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Uh, and that's all we got. It's your boy Dinia. Out.